Man, I was in an antique store today, and this guy who owns the antique store has this big German Shepherd. And I went to go pet it, and I asked before I pet it, I said, um, if I pet this uh, you know, German Shepherd, because it seemed fairly docile, it was like lying down, will he bite? And I'm, as I'm petting it the first couple of seconds, the owner goes to me, uh, he might. I'm saying to myself, he might. Usually, you know, it's like, calm down, yeah, you're okay, you can pet him. He might, he may, he could, he will, he very, he wants to, he's going to, he may, he might, he might, just like that, without any sarcasm, just a straight voice. He might, he might, whatever, he might bite your hand off, well, it feels like it. You know, if he thinks it's like a treat or something, or a toy, yeah, he might just bite, rip your hand or arm off completely. That's a nice way to say, he might, bye, bye. He might, he should have, hey, call, call the schmeg, they fucked up. Are you a schnorrer? Are you a this or that? A snorer? Your father's a snorer and you're a schnorrer. You're a good combination. That's what he says to me. But uh, uh, thanks a lot for, for letting me feel peace of mind there with, uh, well, he might. He might, he might not. He might bite your hand off. He might think he's in Monty eating bagels and locks. He might be a German on a vacation. You know, I'm saying to myself, wow, a German shepherd with a very Jewish antique dealer. I mean, they're like German people. They're very uh, trainable. When they train them, they can be borderline normal. When you train them correctly, German shepherds, just like German people, if you train them decently, they can be halfway borderline normal. Uh, I'm kidding. That's horrible. That's sort of like my father passed me away on page 740, 37, no, 737, 747 of his Winston Churchill book in his library. Pick up the book now, college, university. Anyways, what else was I saying? Um, uh, what was I going to say now? Oh, yeah. How about uh, I'm going to do an impression since I'm wearing <laughs> this is a Jason Collins, Devin Harris. So. Don't get nervous, net fans. And, um, I'm doing an impression of Billy Bean, the Oakland A's manager, trying to give his team a pep talk. Because uh, Billy Jeans are the very happy, Billy Bean Jeans, Billy, not Billy Jean King, Billy Bean's are the happy persuasion, which is nothing, just cool. If that's what you're into, it's not me. But, anyways, he gave his team a pep talk to try to make them win because the Oakland A's keep losing every game. They've lost like 30 out of, and this is the time of year they usually have the great players trade or leave or pass away or fade away or expire on the field or and they, this is a, they're living up to their expectation losing every game so he would give a pep talk like excuse me i want you all to stick it in the right place i want you all to suck it up suck it up you all can do this you can all win that i don't care if admin's not on the team anymore and it does um you know rich hard on he doesn't have to be an a anymore i want to see you guys spread it Ready? Oh, I'm just kidding. I want to. <laughs> I want to see more action. Uh, don't be stuck up. Know where you stick the bat. Don't get stuck on the strikes. When you throw, throw like this or like this. Now that's a pep talk. We can all be inspired by. Her. Right. I don't, and he's going to continue to look like this to the team. I want you all to give me the best you all have. You son of a bitches. You're all fake meisters. And stop, watch, stop watching gay pornos every night and concentrate on baseball. Not not man's balls, but concentrate on baseball. Wait a second, wait a second, that's me. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. I mean, I'm talking, thinking about myself. I'm sorry. Billy sometimes thinks of things like that. Like I said, concentrate on the game, on the baseball, not man's balls. No gay pornos. Oh, wait, that's me. No, I'm sorry. Billy, it's all right, man. You don't have to go to that lane to tell people. Just tell them to work hard, hit the ball, you know, stone base, be aggressive, get on the base path, and steal bases, and get singles, doubles, triples, homers, and just make it happen. You throw pitch in your pitches in the right location. And then Billy would turn around and be like, like I said, the balls aren't in the right location. Isn't that special? Listen to me. I don't want any of you looking at weird things. <laughs> I don't want any of you looking at weird videos tonight. Stop watching balls tonight. Oh, excuse me, you caught me. No, I'm just 
Billy, it's all right, man. Seriously, man, that's all right. A pep talk would be great, but if you want someone to give a team a normal pep talk, I will. I will, you know, if you want, or someone else, I'm sure the owner or someone, Billy, uh, could give a good pep talk to see you guys win. Speaking of baseball and pep talks, man, my father used to play company softball games, and he was like six foot two playing second base. He looked like a, a giraffe meets gorilla, a goraf. It looked like in an African forest field, and, and like almost practically in the outfield. It looked like he was practically playing in the grass. You know how like they they play now, second baseman or shortstop into the outfield. I forgot what they call that, but positioning or pointing. I don't know what they call it. Pointing positioning. Uh, there's a name for it, where you know you play in the outfield instead of in the infield to make the play and throw the guy out. My father was ahead of his time. He was playing in like the African jungle safari. Hey, I'm in Kenya. What the hell? You're six foot two. You're playing second base. You look like uh, the mad stork, like Ted Hendricks. Ted Hendricks from the Raiders. Look like he was in a safari uh, jungle, catching the ball. Man, it's unbelievable, man. What about the cyclist, man? That's like me walking around in my hallway and I get hit by my father. You know, like in the hallway when it's dark and he, he saves money by not turning any of the lights on, even in the winter, so people can break their neck on the front steps, windows and lights every five seconds. And say, the windows open, lights, no lights, leave the light on. You left the light on for a second, why is the light on? Windows, lights, heat, oh my God, you know, wasting energy and stuff like that. So you bang into people, and then it takes him three and a half hours to get off the couch, and he wants to boy from a piss bag, so I'll have to wipe his ass soon, but that happens. But in the hallway, he, uh, you know, it's like he knocks into you. It's like the cyclist that hit that woman, almost killed her. He, like, just... It's like walking into a train or something like that. It's really crazy. What else do I want to talk about here? Yeah. Some other stuff. Anyways, that's a good start. Talk to you soon.